ebo mo na gente e ke no no zo e no bosi uruchi tata tata bo obosi nke onwa e ili ise nka na po 15th of october 2023 tata bo 15th of october 2023 i will tell you ni fa na po morning tea from the office of uh boni sike biaflan public government in exile bo mazi simon eba obele ifo kugasi ni ro akoko anu na this um morning tea ma choku nu ge ya bi fe eh imani fa ikolo nu kwana ga na enyu nu update gba sta ma ki fe ni me na ni igbo and nwo no wen kendi igbo and biafra and mazi na ni kan ko isi putana mporo ya ka ga na enyu nu update ye na ni lo akwukwa na eastern is 24 we can give boy money again ti e gesi a ya bi fe ko si we de ka bia from prime minister si we ku ya e ku your own option master make you future ni fe bia from prime minister ku ni lo akwukwa right over to you sir of people and human right the africa charter of people the africa charter of human and people rights article 20 state that all peoples shall have the right to existence they shall have the unequal unquestionable and the inalienable right to self determination they shall freely determine their political status and shall pursue their economic and social development according to the policy they have freely chosen i want everyone to pay attention to this the article 20 of the african charter made it very very clear and that's exactly what the biafra republic government in exile is doing today and we have fulfilled all this requirement and we are ready to showcase the biafra government and the nation to the world which is going to be happening simultaneously in the coming weeks and months i also would like to address those doubting thomases who do not understand that biafra has invested in arms and ammunition that going forward those who come with jet we will begin to shoot them down i am telling you the fact fly on the airspace of biafra to throw bombs on our people we will shoot you down i want to also inform biafra people For those who are sharing fake letters and fake news claiming it is emanating from Biafra uh, indigenous leader of indigenous people of Biafra Mazina Bikano disregard them Mazina Bikano continue to be the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra and he will continue to be the leader but at this point he can't lead from captivity of the enemy I want everyone to understand this particular point very clear. Mazina Bikano in DSS. What it means is that the over 17 million Biafrans are in the DSS. And we cannot fall for the trap that they have set with those who parade themselves as freedom fighters. Taking order or any instruction from the DSS dungeon Where Mazina Bikano is being castrated means that entire Biafra is being caged by the Nigeria terrorist state and that is what Simon Epa and very sensible every sensible person will not accept what we are doing is to protect the interest of the over 70 million Biafrans as long as Nigeria continue to detain Mazina Bikano when he is free he is going to address Biafrans and they will know where we are going to go and how we are going to continue from there but at this point he continue to be the leader of indigenous people of Biafra but we are not going to allow the DSS to give order through him to the Biafra people the idea of arresting or kidnapping him from Kenya and the extraordinary rendition him to Nigeria was to end the Biafra struggle and to end the freedom fighting for Biafra and that has failed woefully and remember that we said we are not going to allow nigeria state to succeed today we have defeated them you have defeated them 
your resilience, your steadfast, your genuity in the Biafra liberation has made it possible for us to defeat Nigeria. And this victory belongs to you. And I want every one of you to stand very strong, to know that what you are doing is to safeguard your future, to safeguard the future of your children, the future of your generation unborn. And you owe them that duty of care. Do not allow anybody to deceive you. We will not and we will never allow the DSS to dictate how the freedom of 70 million people will be fought. It is not possible. If you fall for that scam, believe me, you will never be free from Nigeria. And I know that over 99% of Biafrans understand that it is time we'll tell the DSS and the Nigeria Islamic State that no, you can't dictate how we liberate ourselves from you. Anything coming from the DSS, anything coming claiming that it comes from Mazen and Bikano, no, it is coming from the Nigeria state. And they can never favor the struggle for Biafra. Mazen and Bikano will be released. And if they don't release him, after these two weeks at home, we are coming with more stringent measures how to deal with the Nigeria state. And this time around, we will make sure that we target the Nigeria state. The government, the revenue, everything is what we are targeting this time around. I want you to understand that there is no going back in this movement. We will continue to crash the economy of the Nigeria terrorist state. We will make sure that before oil exploited from Biafra land, they are going to suffer. I want you to understand that there is a wave of change in the entire Africa. Military coup happening here and there, and a lot of things are happening. Believe me, it is not a coincidence. Something is happening, and something is going to happen to Nigeria very soon. And Nigeria will never survive the wave that is coming from this week, starting from this week. So, Biafra people, no matter the propaganda that the enemy brought to you, or the enemy are going to bring forward from tomorrow, Remember, you can never take order from anybody coming from the Nigeria state. Most of the lawyers have sold out. Most of the lawyers are there for business. Most of the lawyers are just there for their profession. And some of them, you know, Nigeria is a very corrupt country. Some of them being threatened. Some of them doing it for business. But one thing is very, very certain. We are fighting for Biafra freedom. We are fighting to save the people of Biafra. Remember that Mazen and Bikano is not the only person in DSS dungeon. There are many, many people in DSS dungeon, Biafra people. So as we are demanding for the release of Mazen and Bikano, we are also demanding for the release of all the Biafra agitators and fighters that are illegally being detained in the Nigeria terrorist state. Our demand, therefore, is to release every detained Biafra from Nigeria. The civil disobedience that Biafra people are backing on now is not only for the Mazen and Bikano alone, but it is also to demand every person being detained in Nigeria as a Biafra activist to be released. And that particular statement is coming officially this evening. I want to tell Biafra's people not to not fall into this trap of Mazen and Bikanu say this, Mazen and can say that. Mazen and Bikanu never said anything. What they are trying to do is to create enmity and to create confusion and disagreement and misunderstanding between us and Mazen and Bikanu, who will never see, who will not know what is happening with him. And so, what they are trying to do is to use the Nigerian media to create this particular enmity where there is no enmity. They will tell you Mazen and Bikanu said this, and then you think he actually said it. They will tell you uh, Samanekpa said it, and then you think he actually said it. They will tell you Samanekpa is being sponsored and Bakuro, that Mazen and Bikanu said Samanekpa is being Bakuro by Nigeria government. Do you think Mazen and Bikanu can actually say such thing? The answer is no. So what they are trying to do is to make Samanekpa to provoke 
and say, okay, I will not fight from Azinam Bekaru again, and then we allow him to die in the DSS dungeon. That is exactly what they are looking for. Because if Mazinam Bekaru come out, he is going to expose those who were responsible in his kidnapping and the extraordinary rendition. And some of them are the ones who claim to be fighting for him, including in his own family. So when you see them doing all these things, they are looking for a way to provoke Samanepa and we have refused to be provoked. I will not listen to anything until Mazina becomes say it as a free man. Then I will know. I don't 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 know. No fun, no fun. And the man's in the can. He's up to pan and ball. What's why I could not talk about it. He said, he said, he said. I'm the consider. Uh, the king will be the prime prime minister of Biafra, of the Republic of Biafra. You know, he's a boy. Only the boy man is Simon Eba. The king will be focused on na ya bo ni lo akuwa. And kedi ki biya bo ainleku. If I leme ba bo oye ko uche ya. We are in democracy in this Eastern news. 24. I had a corner. I had a to any opinion on Mando because I wouldn't be in the bonnet to see now. Join your dinner, John. You want to go on your bonnet? Could you tell you? I have a final, a final, a final letter. The blatable the percentage of people that are saying the same thing. A man that's in an army will be fed them. All right, I'm the kun no real be fair because we didn't know who are Kenny Kun will give you a stomach here. Simon Ebakulu, a cougar say. All right, drop on I, you know. Comment session and no nature for near by is ten news twenty four. Cast no telun yan up morning tea. Dalunum, umibo, umifer, umano, gamesiano.